Hey, greetings and welcome to another edition of STL Soccer Talk, the video version. I'm Tom Timmerman and as joined as always by the genial Beth O'Malley. Beth, hello. Hello, how welcome. are you? Fine, thank you. And as you can, I don't know if you can see behind us, there's less behind us. We are still in the old studio, in this version of the Brian Burwell studio, and right. we may be here for... I'm not quite sure. It's, we are in, in the process mm -hmm. of moving, so mm -hmm. whenever they say we're going to move upstairs, <laughs> We'll yeah. be upstairs. Yeah, the rest of the building, the rest of the office has moved upstairs, but the studio is still downstairs. Anyway, let's talk soccer rather than office politics. Um, St. Louis City coming off a, uh, a big win over uh, Minnesota United mm -hmm. on uh, Saturday in St. Paul, Minnesota, Allianz Field. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a big win because with LAFC uh, playing a tie and Seattle being off, they're now up eight points, mm -hmm. even though there's games in hand and things like that but they're up eight points they've got three games to play and they have the possibility of clinching the western conference championship on sunday they play on saturday it couldn't happen until saturday with some other results but they are on the on the threshold of an unprecedented event and they had to pull out a big win in minnesota to make that happen they did they had to come from behind they fell down fell down. I don't know that that's the right <laughs> way to say it. They fell behind uh, by a goal after a bit of an unusual play. Mm -hmm. uh, Berkey came out of the goal, off the line a bit. The ball slipped right through his gloves. And then he basically wrapped the uh, offensive player in his arms. Not really a bear <laughs> hug, but definitely uh, held on to him for a moment to get him from getting to the ball. Given a yellow card and the, a penalty and the um, Minnesota scored. So then. But then City rebounded nicely. They made some subs. They brought in uh, Klaus and Edu Lubin and ACL Jackson, came in off the bench, and those three played a significant role in the goal uh, that uh, eventually put uh, City ahead. Uh, well, Klaus scored. You know, Klaus and, scored the tying, the tying goal. goal. And, and then. then the, on the winning goal, on the winning goal, it was Leuven with a steal. Jackson makes a run and then cuts it back to Jabul Blum, who scores from the top of the box to make it two to one and sends uh, City on to victory. I was talking. Uh, not well, to interrupt. I was okay. going to say, right. let's go ahead and list all the historic things that happened. Okay. They tied LAFC for most wins, most wins in by an expansion a, team. By an expansion team, uh, Bloom scored his first goal. Period. Ever? Ever. South Africa as a professional. As a professional. I mean, yeah. Well, yeah. Was, I, mean, you know, I guess it's kind you of. You would think at some point as a right. child or whatever. But yes, <laughs> in his years at Kaiser Chiefs in South Africa or his uh, season now yes. uh, with St. Louis City. Uh, and the reaction from his teammates was actually really fun to watch because people were, I think, in disbelief that he mm -hmm. actually made it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as you were saying, uh, actually, I was, I was talking to Roman Berkey about that goal, and he said it had been raining, uh, and the ball was slick, and then maybe there was, you know, it had come off someone's head, and there was hair gel on it, and it may have, may have been slippery because of that, but I just couldn't get my hands on it. So yeah. that was, uh, a, that was a rare misstep, and um, I think, you know, you talk about penalties, or not penalties, but you talk about fouls and there being maybe strategic fouls. I think that was definitely a strategic foul. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, uh, uh, Roman got in the way of, yes. uh, of the uh, Minnesota def uh, player uh, going to goal. Uh, but he got a yellow card and a penalty kick, and, um, and they scored. But uh, as Jake Nowinski said after the game, you know, Berkey has had our back all season long, and we decided we were going to have his, and we were going to come out, and they came out, and played really good. Not that they hadn't played really good the second half subs, but after that, after the second half, it made a big difference. And you talked about those subs coming on and making that big difference. It was a little unusual to see those players needing to be subbed on. The lineup had changed yet again. Um, there's no true starting 11 for this team, but mm -hmm. I would say this is, was not a traditional starting lineup that they've put out before. Uh, so they had the subs to pull off, the super subs, you might say. Yeah, they had a very deep bench on, on this occasion. But, and some of the subs that they had played against LAFC on Wednesday, and so there were guys coming back. There were a few guys that were slightly banged up. Sam Adeneron uh, wasn't uh, peak. Uh, you know, Tim, Hart, Tim Parker's been nursing something. So they had to rest some guys for those reasons, uh, but also just because it was their third game in eight days. But this shows that they can just plug guys in anywhere. I mean, that was a back line, uh, you know, center backs of Josh Harrow and John Bell hadn't played together at all this season, uh, you know, but they've done that all year long and 
it seems like almost every combination. I mean, they've only reused the lineup twice, mm -hmm. and they keep putting them together, and um, they, they keep winning. And they are now, they have tied the expansion record for wins. They need one more. They are closing in on the expansion record for points. They need four, and they need uh, the kind of their magic number this weekend is four. So a city win and then uh, any you know, a loss or a tie by uh, LAFC or Seattle is enough to put them in. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, LAFC plays on Sunday, so there can only be, you can't have a full uh, celebration if they should win over Sa uh, Kansas City on Saturday. But Any win over Kansas City is a win to celebrate. That's certainly how they're looking at it, and they are right there. Uh, more on this, uh, obviously online on our podcast. And our podcast this week, a lengthy interview. We sit down and talk with Jake Marinsky about the ins and outs and the ups and downs of, uh, of his season and uh, how much fun he's having uh, here in St. Louis. And uh, some restaurant tips uh, from Jake as well, because Jake's kind of a gourmand. So, uh, yeah. um, so he's, he's got some tips there. So anyway, so lots of stuff online. Support local journalism. Uh, subscribe online. And uh, for Beth, I'm Tom. Until next weekend, from wherever we are, but probably here. But, probably here. Uh, but with probably less in the background. Until then, for Christine behind the cameras, be seeing you.